house. We had to move out by May and it is now the end of August and we are finally moved into our new home. We're living on post in California. It has been a journey. It has been a year. As I'm sure everyone is aware, this year has been something else. But anyways, I am working on setting up my office in the new home. If you see a child run in randomly at some point, that's because hashtag distance learning. And yeah, I was going to show you a little bit about what I'm working on, how I'm getting set up, and maybe some sneak peeks of stuff coming in the future. And yeah, let's get to it. So we don't have room for an office in this house. So we just set up, my husband and I just set up both of our offices here in this front like living area. Um, so that's his side and that's my side. And this is like a, a I think a technical term for it is a buffet, but we're using it as a bookcase. And um, we're actually gonna get two new, new like smallish, oh, there's a child right there, smallish bookcases for right here and right here. And move these books into that. And then this is going to be where I keep like my sketchbooks and my art books and Mommy. my planners. <laughs> okay, pardon that interruption. <laughs> So anyways, right now I just have some of my art supplies and stuff sitting on top, but I've got some pictures. And over here is our laser printer. This is just black and white. And then I have a new printer down here that I'm gonna have to get figured out. And um, a silhouette cutting machines. I'm going to be putting some plants in this right here in the windowsill. And then uh, this is my desk. Currently I'm just using this old bookcase um, that we have for a desk because I gave my desk away before I moved out here because it would not have survived the move. Um, but I just ordered a standing desk that's going to be here this weekend. And I'm really excited about it because when I'm packing orders, it's really nice to be able to stand and do that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun and interesting and um, I hope that that works out well. And then I have my Raspog cart here. Actually, I haven't finished putting my art supplies back into it yet, but back here is this huge closet. So this is like my supply closet. I've pretty much taken it over. So I have my other rask cart here with some art supplies. All of these bins are filled with stuff for the shop. This whole shelf right here is products and then more products. Don't look at those. That's a secret, but maybe by the time this video comes out, it won't be a secret anymore. Um, my washi tape collection, my planner supplies, all of that is in here and I'm still organizing it and whew, it's taking a while. But anyways, that's what I have currently got going on. And right now I'm gonna go test my printer to see if I can get it to print the level of quality that I require for my artwork and my stickers. Wish me luck. One thing that I was working on today that I thought you might find interesting is I took the artwork for an upcoming release I have in the shop and I made a bunch of cute patterns out of it. So this is one of them and I was just I'm putting my little logo on it so that I could um, use this to post on Instagram with some more details on the shop reopening, um, which hopefully I'll have those details soon because right now I don't know what I'm doing because I don't even know where everything is yet because I'm still unpacking, so that's fun. All right, so this like witchy primrose sticker sheet, um, which is one of my favorites. It's from the Halloween collection from last year. Um, I'm going to be testing this one on the printer to see how it comes out. I guess I better pull the letter tray out. We'll see if it comes out good or if I have to play around with the settings. Hopefully it just works from the start, but you never know. Alright, so here's the page that just came off the printer. I don't know if you can see, but um, come on, focus. Alright, that's about as close as I can get and have it focus, but if you can't tell, her eyelashes and lines are actually pretty clearly defined. The 
Um, color is a little bit more pale. I mean, obviously it always is gonna look better on the screen because you've got so much more brightness from the screen. Um, but it's definitely a little bit more um, translucent, I guess is the best word for it, than it is on the screen. Um, but this actually looks pretty good just based on the fact that it's just simple, like copy paper, it's nothing special. It's not my sticker paper. It's not premium matte paper. It's just plain old copy paper. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try it on um, just a regular sheet of my standard premium matte sticker paper and see how the colors look there. And yeah, if it is even just a little bit better than this, like if the color is a little bit richer when it prints on the premium paper, I will be happy with that because um, otherwise it looks pretty good. Okay, you guys, look. So this was the letter paper. This is the sticker paper, the premium matte, and it did so much better. Look at the colors. It did great, and I am so happy. Yes. just holding the camera up with my hand, so hopefully it's not too wobbly for you. I do tend to have shaky hands. Um, today's been a day. Um, distance learning again this morning. It did not go well. Technology issues, too much work, too many kids, um, too many different things going on at the same time. But because, and I'm sure you can hear my kids electronics in the background, but because of the pandemic and the distance learning, I only get like two hours tops to work during the day. Um, and it's made things really difficult and um, I just wanted to put that out there. This is hard. It's really hard, if not impossible, to get work done when you are the primary caregiver in your family and all of your kids are home with you all day and you are home with them and it's just hard it's it's hard to get your work done and parent at the same time and I, I know there are so many of you out there who are parents who are going through the same thing who maybe um, both of you like we are our working parents and you're trying to work and take care of your kids at the same time and distance learning and your kids aren't in school and you have to be the teacher and the caregiver and the parent and do your job. And maybe some of you can't do your job from home and I know some women have had to give up working completely um, because they can't get the care that they need for their kids during the day in order for them to be able to distance learn and for them to go to work. And I know I'm I know I'm sounding really rambly right now, but I just wanna say that we, even though we are extremely blessed in our circumstances during this time, it's still hard. So um, I just am very poignantly aware of how difficult this is and can be for others going through the same situation because there are others that I know have it even worse and are having an even harder time than we are and I just want you to know that I empathize with you and it sucks. So, ran over. On that note, today I am working on, this is not a beer, by the way, I'm not drinking, it's a root beer. Um, but today I am working on building this sticker sheet. So I originally built this in Illustrator um, because I was going to have it manufactured elsewhere, but that didn't end up working out because I wanted the cut lines on the stickers to be a lot smaller than what most manufacturers will do for me. So here's all a lot of my artwork and I'm currently rebuilding the same exact sticker sheet in the Silhouette program, which is what I use to run my cutting machines. 
um, so that I can cut, print and cut these myself here in my home, which is what I normally do, but sometimes I really like outsourcing the stickers. Um, it costs me more money, so I get, you know, there's less, um, I can't even think of the right word. Um, I get less, make less profit when I outsource these uh, items, but the quality is a lot better, I feel like, most of the time. Sometimes they send me crap and I can't even sell it, but most of the time the quality is way better. Like they have better sticker paper, like thicker stickers and yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. Also, isn't this mouse pad freaking adorable? Like I, <laughs> Probably something I shouldn't admit, but I this is the first time like since I left my parents' house that I've actually owned a mouse pad. I usually just use it directly on the table, but um, this surface like wasn't working out with using the mouse on the table, so I got a mouse pad and it's been working out really well. It's actually really comfortable. I like this little cushion it has here for your wrist. And yeah, I will I guess I'll link that in the description box if you're interested, but they had a couple other patterns too that are really cute. I think I might order one for my husband because he was saying he wanted one also. So I'm counting and making sure I got all the stickers that I ordered and um, I'm working on making sure I have the right packaging and I started cutting stickers for a shop update and yeah. That's getting interrupted. Hey guys, I probably only have a few minutes um, before I get interrupted, probably even less than that. But um, I just wanted to say that today I've been working on formatting some sticker sheets for the next shop update. And I'm hoping to do that um, within the next week. And I'm getting all of the stickers and pin rewards for my patrons ready to go to ship out at the end of this week. So today I've just been, um, I have some footage of me sorting those out. I'm gonna be counting them and making sure I have as many as I ordered and so I can do inventory because on Patreon, Patreon, on Patreon, my patrons um, are going to get everything, their promises, their rewards once those ship out. Anything leftover I will list in the store, um, but 
my patrons will have um, 24 hour early access and they can use their discount code um, to purchase before the store goes live and then anything left after that will be um, available to the general public. So um, I have to do that because um, as I just started out on Patreon this month, I don't have enough, I, I don't meet my minimum order requirements when I'm ordering my stickers from the manufacturer. Um, so I'm always gonna have some extra and it's good to have some extra too in case anything goes wrong. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm working on today and um, hoping to start working on formatting my Halloween sticker sheet because I have it all ready to go. I just need to get into sticker format and I wanna get that ordered so that I can get that out as quickly as possible because Halloween's my favorite. Okay, talk to you later. Check in when I get another quiet moment with no one yelling in the background. I'm actually amazed no one's interrupted thus far. Crazy, but just the scheduling has been weird because we've been trying to figure out um, my husband's job and what his schedule is with the distance learning and then how my schedule is going to work with trying to work on um, getting the shop reopened and getting everything up and running again and finishing putting the house together. So um, hopefully things are a little bit more consistent starting next week. And yeah. I'm going to go unload the dishwasher. That's exciting. And start a crock pot, crock pot dinner. Can I help you? I don't know how this stuff is. Okay, just, I'm back. Sorry about that, real life. Um, after I finish my chores, then I'm going to start, oh my gosh, the lighting. After I finish my chores, I'm going to start working on listings. I decided to completely redo my website look and redo all of my listings. <sighs> so it's taking a while. And um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today. And I'm doing some inventory also so that I've got everything up and running for next week. So I'll check back in with the vlog um, when I'm working on that stuff. So I just wanted to show you really quick. I got a standing desk. Um, it's up at the standing level right now. I kind of love it. It's by a company called FlexiSpot. Here, this is their name. This is their name. 
and I've programmed this to be the heights that I need. So if I press um, three, it will lower the desk down to sitting level. So yeah, I love it. It's a huge workspace, much bigger than I've had before, uh, which I really love. And then having the standing option will help me to be able to run my cutting machines and my printer when I'm cutting stickers and packing orders, I can stand and do that because it's just easier to stand and take care of that than it is to do it sitting down. My only thing I don't like is all the cords underneath, how you can see all of those. So I'm gonna have to figure out a solution for that. If you know, if you've had this problem before and you know a good solution for hiding all those cords, um, leave me a comment below. Okay, I'm gonna go do my chores now. Hello again. Um, I wanted to show you really quick that I was working on this just cute little doodle um, image last night. I'm considering making it a coloring page for my Patreon. Um, I can't decide if I want to do that or if I want to do a Primrose illustration I did um, the other day as the coloring sheet, but it turned out so cute and I think this girl right here is my favorite thing on the sheet. And I'm probably gonna color this in later today when I have some more free time. So there's that. Okay, thanks. Bye now. Awkward exit. <laughs> okay, I also wanted to show you the, this is what the website is going to look like. I updated all the graphics for the different collections. I took off the collections I don't actually have anything for sale in right now, um, and then I'll add those back in as needed. But these are the six collections that are going to be a part of the uh, new releases and some oldies but goodies when the shop reopens. And then I'm going through and also updating all the listing photos to match the new look. So that is mainly what I'm going to be working on today.